So many Utahns have been generous with their donations, yet Ukrainians are urging that if you want to give, please give what they need. Fox 13 News reporter Aaron Cox spoke with volunteers helping right now in Poland and one Ukrainian woman here in Utah. Cars packed, bags full of netting, sewed by locals. Images of Ukraine, a place Jason Stout has lived for the past six years, a home he had to flee. In the beginning, it was a mixture of shock and fear. Before moving to Ukraine, Jason worked with refugees in Salt Lake City. He never expected his family would one day walk in similar shoes. It is a very strange feeling to be in a country not because you wanted to come on vacation, but because you had to come. Once safe in Poland, Jason turned back to help those left behind. And when I went back to Lviv in western Ukraine, every day and every night there were air raid sirens. And every time I hear that air raid siren now, I immediately have a stress response. A fierce Svetlana Miller understands as she watches her home from here in Utah. We've been trying to call my dad. We don't know where he is, but it doesn't necessarily mean the worst. There are a lot of people lost right now. It inspired Svetlana to create To Ukraine With Love to send help home. Yet not all the donations Svetlana sees are what Ukrainians need. I had a friend who had a cousin and a brother fighting in the front lines. And she kept messaging, is there any way to get just two sets, just the protective helmet and the, and the vest? And I said, just, we're going to get this fundraiser going, and I'm going to ship a large quantity. We'll find a way to ship them, and I'll make sure that your brother and your cousin get each a set. And, yeah, she called at the beginning of the week, and she said, just my cousin, no, not my brother. He's gone. So time matters. Donating fast matters. Donating fast and donating smart. They won't flip the fuel bill to ship diapers or formula because it's right there in Poland. We can grab it on site. Level four bulletproof vests and helmets, specific types of military equipment like drones. They also need things like uh, night vision goggles that are very expensive. Thank you for all you're doing for us. It saves our lives. I spoke with Utah's Honorary General Consul about vetted organizations to donate to, along with those in Poland about what organizations are trustworthy. We'll link you up to those on our website, fox13now.com. In studio, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.